Welcome back to Sous Vide Everything guys. Today we are doing an amazing butter experiment and there's no way that we're gonna lose because it is steak and butter. But at the same time, hopefully along the way, we're gonna learn something new. Check it out. Isn't that just mouth watering? Butter and steak were made for each other. And whenever I see footage like this, it's just hard for me to actually edit this video. Man, that's amazing. With all that being said, today we're gonna be testing four different types of butters to find out which one is best. So let's do it. And these are all of our contestants that we're gonna be using for today's experiment. The very first one is butter. If you've never made fresh butter, it's super easy to do. And here's how. Add heavy cream to your mixer and beat it on high like there's no tomorrow. As butter gets agitated in the mixer, it starts to separate. And when that happens, you will have butter on one side and buttermilk on the other. Once that's done, all you have to do is rinse your butter to make sure all the buttermilk is removed and put it on the refrigerator so you can use it at any time. And that is how you make fresh butter at home. This will be our control. We already know that this goes perfectly with any steak. Now we just need to see if any of the other contestants are any better. Talking about that, our second contestant is brown butter. And it is exactly what it sounds like. You just want to let your butter melt and turn brown. The only thing that you want to avoid is to let it burn. We want brown, not black. And the reason it turns brown is because it still has some milk solids. And by letting that cook in the pan, it just caramelizes the whole thing. This golden go is what produces that amazing flavor into your steak. And by making this ahead of time, it just might make your steak even better. And after dropping it into the container, the solids will slowly sink to the bottom. And as you can see, these little brown bit solids is exactly what I'm looking for. So in order to make sure I don't lose any of them, I like to use a parchment paper. That way I'll be able to remove it once it solidifies in the container. Once that's done, all there's left to do is to put it on my refrigerator so that it can firm up. And after 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. And this is my next contestant. It's ghee, also known as clarified butter. It's all the same thing, but without the milk solids. And here's how to make it. Just throw it into the water bath at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Once that's done, you can clearly see the milk solid will sink to the bottom. Now all there's left to do is to strain it, put it on my refrigerator, and you will have solid clarified butter. We already know that for cooking it, it is amazing. And there's only one way to find out if it's good for basting. We have to do it. My very last one is goat butter. After a few subscribers asking me to test this out, I gotta be honest with you. This was a weird request. I didn't even know this existed. But I mean, since there's goat milk, we gotta have it, right? I just never knew about it. And opening it up and looking at it, I mean, it, this is weird. It also smells very, very different. As you can see, it's just translucent. And just to be clear, this is clarified goat butter. And I can't wait to find out how it will stack up against the other contestants. To go along with our butters, we need steaks. And I'm gonna be using these four beautiful bone-in New York strips. If you are unfamiliar with this cut, it is the same thing as a T-bone. It's just missing the filet mignon. And as you can clearly see, it has wonderful marbling. That's those little white spots that you see throughout the meat. To season it, I kept it pretty simple with salt, freshly ground black pepper, and garlic powder. And as always, make sure you season all sides. Put it in the bag and get ready for sous vide. But now that we have all of our contestants ready, our beautiful steaks are also ready, I'm gonna be cooking all of them in the same container at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two and a half hours. All right, everybody, we have all of our contestants here. Our steaks are getting cooked sous vide. Now, here's the thing. This one, you guys already know what it is. And the smell of it is so wonderful compared to the regular butter. I mean, this one smells good too, but this, all of that Maillard reaction has really concentrated. And then this one, I have no idea what to expect. You know what it smells like? White Kit Kat. That's what it smells like. You know what this is, Mamao? No idea. I'm not going to tell you. It's White, white Kit, Kit Kat. Kat. That's right. <laughs> okay, with that being said, now here's the deal. With this one, this is what I'm thinking. Obviously, I can't use this one for basting. Because if I do, what will happen is you will become, instead of brown butter, it will become black butter. So as my steak is done, I'm going to take the very top, which I'm going to try to remove it right now. See what I'm talking about? Check this out. Can you see it here, Mama? The difference in coloration, is it coming through the camera? So here we have regular butter, right? And then here we have all that Maillard reaction brown butter concentrated to the max. I'm gonna be using this top right here so I can put it on the steak. That's my goal. So I'm gonna use it kind of like uh, compound butter, you would say. 
with all that being said, you know exactly how this experiment is gonna go down. I can't wait to take out my steaks and see which one is the best. They are ready, we are hungry, let's take them out. Let's do it. If you can only smell the combination of smell of wonderfully, perfectly cooked steak together with these butters, you will be as happy as me. <laughs> with all that being said, I gotta pat it dry so that we can get a wonderful sear. To keep everything the same and consistent with this experiment, I'm going to be searing every single steak on the pan. I'm going to be giving each one of them two minutes per side and they should be perfectly seared. But I know they don't look that good right now. But watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steak. We got Mamalzinho do Brasil over here together with Mr. Sam. Are you hungry, Sam? Starving. <laughs> Sam is always hungry. All right, boys, so we have a nice, wonderful steak experiment today. You ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I say enough talking, let's go for it. Let's go for this first one here. Go ahead, Sam. Cheers, everybody, first one. Mmm. Sous vide steak. You gotta close your eyes and then taste that flavor. Mm, you're going for the second one already, <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> Steak mm. hammer, that's all I can say. Very creamy, buttery. I'm, How do, I'm in love right now. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe that steak, Sam? We wanna know from you. It was tender, it was juicy. It was just all around a great steak. My mom. It tasted perfect. I'm thinking that it was control because it was perfect. <laughs> There's a catch, there has to be a catch. That was good, now it's time for the second one, yeah? Cheers, everybody. Mmm, that was different. It's still amazing though, it still tastes good. What do you think, Mama? It's just as tender as the first one, but mm. it's a little bit less flavorful than yeah, the first one. Yeah, I agree. It's a little bit washed. Uh, Sam, what do you think? Are oh, you going another, for the second one? I have to take another <laughs> bite to make sure. Sam is just happy to eat, huh? Oh, it's great. Don't get me wrong, but I agree with my mouth. It's missing the, some flavor. Yeah, the first one all around was great, but this one, Slightly lacking. There's something it's like missing. the flavor got washed away or something. I agree with you. I think what's actually happening is not that the flavor got washed away. I think is this one is so flavorful that when we go back to the second one that we just yeah. ate right now, we go like, there's something missing. <laughs> there <is> something missing. <laughs> there's something missing in there. Still good though. Don't get us wrong. Still good. All right, let's go for the third one, boys. Come on. All right, everybody, third one. Cheers. Hmm. Mmm. Oh. Sweet. I don't know. Weird. It tastes like it smelled and I described to you. Sam, what do you think? It just felt thick for whatever thick. reason. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> That's Sam's description. It's a thick <laughs> steak, everybody. <laughs> I don't like this steak. You like this steak? No, I wouldn't eat it again. Do you like it, Sam? I mean, I love steak. I, I, just <laughs> I will eat it again because it's over here, but I wouldn't cook it again. Yeah, this mm -hmm. one for me, it has a hint of sweetness. Yeah. Does, do you guys get any of that? Like, yeah, yeah. it's a little. It's not like it's sugar, but it's like a hint of sweetness. Did you put so, some stevia on the steak or something? A stevia, yeah, that's probably a good description. Fourth one, everybody, cheers. Oh boy, mmm, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> 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 Wow, that's good. <laughs> oh man, you see, you thought it was going down. Yeah. What happened? It went. It took, <laughs> it took a, it took a big, 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 big curve. It has a different flavor with a different aftertaste. Yeah, it had a a, a crazy curve for the aftertaste mm -hmm. compared to the, the one before. Mm. I really enjoy that one. I'm gonna tell you right now, that one is so nice. Yeah, I, what, was, what do you think? I would lean over and grab another one, but it's a little too far. So <laughs> Go for it, Sam, grab more. <laughs> if I do. From the one that we just tried before, it had a weird aftertaste, and like I said, it felt heavy, but this one, 
a huge upgrade from that one. Like, really? So yeah. you like it better than the first yeah, one? Yeah, I like it wow. better from the first one. Wow, I'm surprised by that answer. What do you think, Mama? I was going to say, after the first one, this is my favorite. So you still prefer the first one? I still prefer the first one. I'm first 100% one. with Sam, by the way. <laughs> of course, I'm the only one. You're, you're the odd one. This one has a lot more flavor for me. It's like, it's, it's, yeah. like, it's like packed over with flavor. I Okay, you guys ready to find out what it is? This steak here was basted with regular butter. Ah, oh, so butter was used. <laughs> yeah, butter was used. This one here was with clarified butter. Mm -hmm. I think what happens with clarified butter is that since we took out all the milk solid, there's no Maillard reaction. So it's just like if you're basting with an oil. I definitely don't recommend any basting with clarified butter. Not it does good. nothing at all. If it does something, it actually takes away from the steak. Yep. Yeah. This one here is goat butter. <laughs> I think exactly what happened is since it's clarified butter as well, there is no flavor because it's just kind of like yeah. an oil. Oh, so it's clarified. Cla besides being goat, it's clarified goat butter? Yes, I couldn't find a regular oh. goat butter. If not, I would have used it. If it's already ghee and it's sweet like this, can you imagine a full butter? It must be weird, it right? It must be really weird. If you are a uh, goat uh, breeder and you know what butter tastes like out of goat, Put it in the comments down below. <laughs> we want to know, yeah? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely don't recommend this one. Now this last one here is fantastic for me and Sam. And it's really good. It's really good. Guys. Not your favorite. It's You're out of here. Favorite. I'm still gonna eat it. Okay? <laughs> your favorite still the regular control. Okay, look, um, since this one's your favorite, why don't we switch? Yeah, exactly. Me and Sam will have this one. <laughs> That's okay. I got an extra piece. The great thing about butter is the milk solids becomes brown and that golden Maillard reaction produces something amazing on the steak. Mm -hmm. And this one here is called brown butter. So I browned the butter and then I just put it on top and did it. And for me and Sam, this is the most flavorful steak there is. 100%. It's 100% flavor packed. Now, what happened with this one here, as it's basting, it's becoming brown. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit of that brown taste together with the clarified butter. So it's a mix and a little bit lighter flavor. With this one here, punch in your mouth yeah. and big pack. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I love to know what you guys think in the comment section. Please put it down below. If you've never tried brown butter, me and Sam, we recommend it. 100%. You want out? No, go ahead and try it. <laughs> try it, guys. It's good. And you can have it ready on your uh, refrigerator and just put a, use it like a compound butter. I'm pretty sure you all will approve. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Just a quick note. The last two steaks, they're almost over. There you go, you see? <laughs> it is the best, huh? <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.